All right, hello. We are going to do a demo of a, a Hiveling Dragon uh, from Wings of Fire. This is an ice wing. That, this is not a Hiveling. This is just something I drew uh, just a little bit ago and just colored it in. All right, do you want to start? What do they need to do to start? Pencil? Uh, yeah, pencil. Eraser? Eraser. Uh, Whatever you're gonna, pencil you can, uh, I'm going to color my dragon how they are colored in the books, but you guys can color it any color you want. The, if you want to color it the same as I'm going to color it how they are in the book, uh, usually high wings are a orangey yellow color with black stripes. We'll draw the black stripes in. I'll show you how to draw those on the scales. Um, the... But if you want to draw it um, like how they actually are in the books, yellow and black, or you can draw them any color you want. Excellent. So what do we do first? Show me. Okay. I have... Draw... So this is how you start the head. Circle. Circle. Got it. Just at that... Doesn't matter the, the size? Like that? You can draw whatever size. And if okay. it's too big, you can just kind of cut out this sort of part of the thing and only have like a neck or something. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, then second, uh, draw like a U-shaped line out. Mm. That's a little too long. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Kind of? Well, not from the top. Okay. Go from the middle? Yeah. Like okay. the middle dot kind of on your paper? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, go up like a straight line up. Just okay. a tiny That's little it. bit. A little bit. Just okay. a straight line and then go down and that's going to be the spike on their nose. Um, okay. Then bring it down to the like a, what a jawline would be to the bottom. Let me see. Right. Like that. Okay. So sort of just a bit lower yeah. than the circle. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. And then bring it back up to the jaw. Oh. Right underneath the circle or yeah. sort of? Like yeah. Right. Like kind of like yeah. Right there. I got it. And then, so that little line, you can erase that later. But, but you'll need that to kind of stable the jaw and stuff. Okay. Um, the circle line, just mm -hmm. to make it look smooth. Straight line out, kind of to make oh, the, the first jaw. Yeah, the first. Oh, don't want to draw it that far, though, because okay. then uh, we're going to draw a bump up for the jaw connection. Okay, I got you. Right there. So just sort of like, like a not triangle, half, a, triangle. Uh, a triangle. A triangle. Oh, I got you. Triangle. Triangle. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then horns. Horns. Okay. Curved line up. From the top of the head? Yeah. Curved lined up. Then go back down. How far? Oh. Like okay. a triangle, but kind of like a bent a triangle. And then make another oh, one another that kind of, so it kind of looks like it's behind. Like you can see how it looks mm -hmm. kind of 3D now. Um, so their necks kind of curve in like a... Um, shape like that, so like an S line. Mm -hmm. So go like that. Where does that. that go for the body? Uh, that's for the like bump out of oh, the, neck. the neck. Just do that. Okay. So I'm gonna do this really lightly because this just to make sure I like what I'm doing. Yeah. That's good. You can do and that. And then I can do it a little bit darker okay. after. Yep. Okay. And then a uh, straight line down. Where? Like not a straight line, like a curved, and then it kind of goes out. Oh, okay. So end. so sort of. Yeah, a little like bit that. of a curve like this. Yep, like that. And then like this. So you're going to curve end. one way and, and then, then curve, curve the, the other way. way. But like very, like big curve and then small curve. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then put very skinny spikes on the back. Like that. All right. It doesn't matter where, just Yeah, you can you do want. any shape. You don't actually have to do skinny. That's just how I draw my hive wings. Um... And you pull it out like that, kind of like just a, a backward C that's kind of like just a line oh. kind of thing, kind of goes out like that, so you can have room for the wings to go up. Let me see. Because the high wings oh. have four wings, so so you need because like most this. dragons you could draw the wing from that because the wing would go like that. And okay, then so out. sort of like this, right? Because you just yeah, want to kind of yeah. do like a little but shallow. But most of the dra dragons on Pantala, one of the contents, uh, have four four wings. Excellent. So. Okay. Let's do it. Um, now the four wings, so you're going to want to draw a curved line up like that. Sort of like that? Yeah. Okay. 
Nice. Then make it a little bit thicker as you come back down. Because that's going to be right. the base of the wing, the muscle. Okay. Now this is uh, this is going to kind of look like a bumblebee or wasp wings. That's why they're called hive wings. Mm -hmm. uh, so then just a little bit before the end, like just kind of make a mark. So you can see okay. where your wing starts. Okay. Got then it. Then curve it down. I don't think I've ever driven drawn a dragon before. And then so you're doing like sort that. of like this it, leaf it's a shape bumble, kind yeah. of like bumble, bumble bumble bumblebee kind of okay. thing. Now the next one, we're gonna want to draw a line like that, mm -hmm. like that. That's so what? a straight line from the back line oh, gotcha. out. Okay. How far out? Just kind of like uh, oh, okay. Like equal to the like maybe a fourth of how long the wing is. All right. So if that's like that, draw like a fourth. Mm -hmm. Um, then you're going to want to curve a line like that. Okay. So then you're going to do another little... Yeah, like exactly what this this is. Go mm -hmm. up. Oh, so you're going to follow this oh, no, line? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, too long, too long. Too long, too long. So how far up should I go? Halfway? Uh, probably at a third of the way point. Okay. Like draw. Okay, and then there. do I go back in? And then go back. Like that. Mm. Yep. Go okay, go back like that. Okay, let me see. So it will be go. okay. It will, I don't want look exactly like an actual high wings wings. I have never actually seen one, so um there we go. Then same with the other kind of thing there. We'll thicken it up. So it looks like that's the muscly part of the wing that flaps. Kind of thicken it up. Oh, okay. Like so that. you just kind so just of like the line, the top line, to make it look it. so it's like it's the muscle part. I got you. Okay, okay. now I... the scale pattern. So the scale pattern is straight line across. So just like a, it's like oh. a zebra stripe, okay. zebra stripe, then a semicircle at the bottom of it. Oh. Okay. Then same thing, just a little bit right down. Beside it, you can do like How three, many? four of them. How many okay. you want? If all right, then three. Just so can I see yours. Nice. Okay. No straight. Like that. Do you want more? Do one more. Okay. Do four. Okay. Hmm. Now the joint is going to be like the shoulder part of the dragon. The part right. of the first leg is going to be there. So I like to do a bump, and because the dragons are strong. Do another bump so it looks like they have muscles. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm doing kind of yep, like, like an M. And then the back goes straight, like that. Goes like about maybe uh, a three centimeter line, maybe two nice. and a half. And then back a little bit, like a tiny little back, like mm -hmm. two millimeter line back, forward. Same length as the one that you drew out. Now, that there, and just copy kind of same thing, two millimeter line to make it look like that. Oh, copy it? Like, can I see? On the other side. Oh, that. same spot here. Yeah, so only. just like same spot the other side. Okay. Is that too far apart or it doesn't matter? Ah, uh, you can have chunky legs. <laughs> He's muscular. He's been working out. <sighs> okay, now, oh. What? Uh, we can fix that after. I totally right. forgot about the well, we underscales. Can fix those. Yeah, I yeah. forgot about the underscales. That's okay. So we'll do that after? Yeah, we'll, oh. we'll just fix the underscales after. Usually I draw a line. I'll just do that. Just don't do not do it now. I'm just going to put an Oh, extra, you mean that you would yeah, erase the this underscales, part? Yeah, the underscales. Oh, you can see because okay. so if could I do this. Back to so do I erase this here? This is this would be erased then? Right? You can, but let's just worry about that later. And then the wing. You're oh. doing a fantastic job. I've never drawn a dragon before, and uh, this is. So, I'm pretty draw here. a line out. You see, like a line. That's the bottom of the foot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Draw a claw. A claw. Claw. Oh. One claw. Okay, so you're then just. Then you draw a bigger one in the middle. Let's see. Like that. Oh, okay. That's nice because it gives it some sort of variety, right? 
makes the drawing and more interesting. And then kind of one hidden behind. Okay. So you're doing some overlapping again that adds some interest to your drawing. And then go up. And then up like that. Okay. Oh, you're not going to be able to do that, but then I, I can that. erase mine and. No, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Got it. Okay, and then go sh up and connect those two lines. What? Where? The two lines. The, I can't the, see. The. Uh, oh, I got it. Okay, so you're kind of building a foot. Yeah, so that's All the right. foot. And then usually what I do is, so I don't have to draw another leg in another position, just draw a line following... The one? Yeah. On the this other side? One. Yeah, just like Oh, that. no. You're I'm doing it, on the, on the side. You can, well, if they want to make it kind of look 3D, they can put... Oh, I've done a couple dragons like that, but to add more detail, make it look okay. cooler, but usually I just kind of do that like that so it looks mm. like there's an extra extra leg behind there just standing there. Okay. Got it. So it's 3D and then and then now what? Belly. So it's a curved line like that. Let me see. Oh. So you kind of continue this piece over here. Yeah. And it's then... a belly. Okay. How far does the belly come out? Just to the end of this wing or just Yeah, like ish? there. Like like again, mm -hmm. maybe a third of the length of this wing. So the, that wing is like that far compared there. You want to go a third. Mm -hmm. uh, then you need to be drawing th thigh of the second leg. So same thing. Cir well, circle. Mm -hmm. Usually I do a circle just to keep it stable. And then I erase the part. So okay. circle. So then you do this. And yeah. do you do it sort of lightly because you can then you can yeah, erase it? Yeah, then, because then I erase that part so it looks. Okay. Then down. What's that? That's the leg that you're yeah, doing that's now? that's the leg now. Okay. Now, dragons are like dinosaurs. Like, they have a joint that goes like that way, then down that. Mm -hmm. So you're want, gonna want it to go like that way. And kind of have like the joint and then finish it. Like just drawn lines of the next step. But like, you know how like dragons and stuff, well I mm -hmm. don't know if you guys know how that works, but like, Usually reptiles have a leg and then it goes down and then it bends back and forward again. It's oh, so you do hands. sort of to the right? Yeah, so you and can then make it look like one. it's a jointed leg. Okay, like and a then, zigzag. Um, it almost looks like a lightning bolt, the beginning of yeah, a lightning and then bolt. Legs down. Okay, yeah. Like that. It does look like a lightning bolt. Yeah, okay. that's usually how I think of it. And, and you then, want this one to be a little shorter than this one? Yeah, so you can okay. fit the top of the foot in. All right. Okay, do the same thing with the other foot. Just kind of do the same kind of, but this, yeah, same kind of foot. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two things I usually do. Am I doing the claws again, like this? Yeah, claws, just right. do the claws again. So one claw, one a little bit bigger, and then one behind. Yeah. And right. sometimes, if I'm drawing a dragon, like they're These standing in a, a position. Oh uh, yeah, that's, fix it when okay. I, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Chunky claws are okay. Uh, um, oh, I need Cut his toenails. Okay. And then, That's such a mom said to say. Okay, so then um, they have like little bumps of spikes. Well, this is how I draw them, but they have little oh. bumps of spikes on the back. So like that. So like on the back of the, oh. the outdented pieces. I'm learning lots about dragons. Okay, so on these back little yeah, bits. Yeah, the back like, okay, like you. You, how the line goes down and then mm -hmm. zigzags. Very nice. Like that. Then hive wings have a poisonous barbed tail. So, they do? Yeah. So it's like a, no, it's a paralyzing toxin in their claws or tail spike. Awesome. So. Okay. Go for it. Um, tail will start and sometimes I just kind of make them curve like that. Oh, so you're doing another one of these kind of tail. S. Yeah, S. So you kind of do straight, down, down into a U. And then up and then like that. Okay. Now, now, they're po the now um, they're poisonous barbs. Mm -hmm. are like a big spike and then it has so I'll just draw it it goes like that then back and then it has like an extra spike like that extra spike like so okay. it's like a like a big tall mountain and then a small mountain okay nice okay and then you just finish off the tail oh so down okay. here finish right down to the bottom or just sort of no, a little bit up like a little bit up can I see okay so it's going to go skinny a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, just to make it look like it's more of a spike, kind of like draw a line to separate it off. Oh, right there. 
Nice. There. You can, can do, do that erasing you this part or now or no? Yeah, but I yeah. usually do that at the end. At the very end. The very end. Because okay. then I cover it, like I take a Sharpie marker mm -hmm. and then trace it out and then I just erase every piece of pencil. Okay. Let's actually do the underscales now. So, All right. I forgot to do the underscales, which is kind of... Okay. Just do a line copying the... Just continuous lines, more so, I guess. Yeah, okay. so then... Now... Then, uh, I what I like to do... Legs are too chunky. I don't think this leg is... I need to no, it's okay. Uh, it looks... I'll you know, it. oh, you know what I think? You know what that could be? It could be a... It could be a hybrid. It could be a mudwig hybrid. Oh, because they're mud, a little chunkier? Because mudwings are very no big, chunky. Mm -hmm. Like, mud, okay. mud, mud, mudwigs are... Mudwigs are very strong and muscly and chunky. Okay. So it could be a mudwig hybrid. Hybrid. Sounds good. All right. Now what? Uh, so... Also, to draw the underscales on the belly part, you can oh, just draw another line there. the belly? Yeah, so you can draw some scattered. Above the, the yeah. hook or under the hook? Like, it, no, the, how big like, is the belly? Uh, in, in the, there. Oh, no. Yeah, you can do that. That's okay. That'll work? Yeah, so then just oh. do the, <laughs> the same right. scale pattern that you have on there. Yeah. Draw so that. just keep going. Yeah, kind of. Down the body? With the little half circle uh -huh. thingies? Yeah. Nice. Yep. All right. And then you can do that on the tail, uh, um, too. Just do that on, on the, the tail. tail. You can, you can too, draw. No? You can draw and understand. Usually what I do is I draw and understand for it a little bit, but then I pretend like the tail is twisted so you don't see the underside of it. Oh. So you can go uh, for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And am I doing the half circle, semi yeah. circle thing again? That's their scale pattern. They always have that. Every single high wing had a little bit of black on them. Okay. All the way down to the bottom where the spike is? Yeah. Nice. Just don't. But you're not going to do the belly all the way because then it gives it some dimension, yeah. right? So it looks okay. like the tail is kind of twisting like yeah. that. So if like oh. the belly's on this uh, side and it's showing like that, okay. it's twisted like this. So then you'll see the belly here, but then okay. you won't Just see it Just a little bit of it. Got it. Um, now? What's next? Probably should draw the eye. So like an oval shape. Oval? It's kind of like oval. in the, the skull. Right here. Right there, yep. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Too big? <laughs> no, too little. Too little? You've got a huge, chunky head. You need to put a big eyeball. Oh. They have huge eyes then? That's like the full size no. of their head. That's good. I'm happy with this. Okay, next. Um, let's do the pattern on the wings. So they have a distinct pattern on their wings. Um, so it's like, it's like bee wings. So it kind of looks kind of, they're see-through and stuff. Um, how I do the pattern on my wings is usually I draw little hexagons. Little hexagons. For a little, for some spots of it. Mm -hmm. And so for those people that don't know what a hexagon is, what's a hexagon? It's a six-sided shape. And right. it's not irregular. How I draw them at least. Okay, not. let me see. So like that. Oh, so you're doing do it like a, like a honeycomb kind of situation. Yeah, but not the whole thing. Because I have different few. patterns. Like, mm -hmm. I do it in different... To add some variety. Just do it in a couple different spots. Okay. You can move, di m you can do more of different Oh, I see. Oh, I got you. Oh, that's so, neat because it adds some interest because it makes your eye kind of move around. And then second thing, the, this is my second pattern. I have like three patterns to do for it. Mm -hmm. Draw a line. Just draw like Where random. I can't draw see. like random lines like that. Mm-hmm. Just random, any yep. direction, like just any direction, okay. and then you can also make it a like make a ladder. So do a that. Ladder. Do that. Oh, you okay. can also in so that, random. This places. is adding the texture. Yeah, this is adding like a texture of a bee wing. Okay. Just kind of do that. Right. There and what go. about the bottom one? The bottom one, same pattern. You can do it random wherever you want okay. it to be. I'm just gonna thicken up this wing a little bit more so it looks more muscly. I do it on the bottom wing. So you're just kind of doing these little ladders. Yeah. Ladders and lines. Random. To add Hello. <laughs> exactly. All right. 
Can I erase this? this yeah, you can erase that. The if, you, if you really want to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's bothering me. It's kind of distracting me. That? Wow. I don't know. You erase it. Okay, so for the eyeball, what do we do for that? Do we do like a uh, little line, line in it or? A line. So then. A line? Yeah. That's okay. the eyeball? So then the the part the side of the eyeball, if you're drawing it the exact same way, it's going to the to our side. Um, so which if you're drawing it like exactly how ours with the right. the head facing to the left, mm -hmm. then you want to draw the when we get to the marker part, yeah. you want to draw the line. Do um, you put a little highlight in the eyeball too? Yeah. Or no? So that this just shade in shade that in what side. Part? that side because that's going to okay. be the black part of the eye and then the other part is the little yeah. highlight part okay that's going to be like the Very iris nice. that's going to be the iris and the um so like make a square but it's kind of like uh like a square a square that's kind of like bumped out like right there uh, that's what's that looks, for it's just like part of the muscle kind of uh you can do like little ticks ticks to make it look like the underscales uh in a minute, I can't see. Like that, just make little ticks on under, under these. Like yeah, little ticks. Like, like little, oh, so little, you're adding like, little millimeter lines. Okay. Just sort um, of random, like yeah. dots to um, make the underscales pop out. Yeah, I do this in my landscapes too. Like little line, dot, line. If dot, you want to, I don't always do this. Mm -hmm. I do this on only some dragons. Mm -hmm. I do this on high wings. It just makes sure. the dragons look more grumpy because the sure. high wings are very grumpy. Sure. I do it. So I do it on more. Uh, I do it on ice wings, night wings, high wings, but you uh, and just that little line that's coming out. I carry it back, and then do that so it makes it look like they have a bigger jaw so it like might nice. have the jaw so bone that. Uh -huh. and if you want you can erase that line that's a jaw bro oh, this what this piece so like yeah you can oh, okay. erase. i wonder why we had that i thought that was yeah, you okay. can erase Where's that the jaw and then the jaw is like you go up and then like a like a tiny little line so you just carry that draw oh, jaw oh, like that oh. and then up okay like that sort of yeah so it just kind of looks like they have a bigger jaw. All right. Uh, if you want to, high wings can wear glasses, so you can put glasses on them. They wear glasses. Yes. What do you mean, like Harry Potter glasses or mom's my glasses? Like, like mine? glasses. Well, like they have different styles Those of smart. glasses, like us. Oh yeah. They're well. But where does it go? They don't have ears. So how do? Where do they put? Where do they you put, put the, their their ears? Little straight line out on where? the side of the head. I can't see. Oh. Like that under the okay. yeah under the horn okay then carry it back to a semi semicircle a semicircle okay and then I just need to erase and then, that no no don't erase that because that shows like you know how your ear kind of curves that's yeah. the part that hears and that's the part on the outside hmm. so you can make that more distinct if you want more distinct bring it out hmm. it's like you just that's good bring it out yeah oh I gotta um, put my glasses. You can put, okay. yeah, you can put glasses on if you want. Okay, I won't, I'm not going to do it. I think it's cool. I'm going to make my glasses cool. You don't have to do Harry Potter glasses. You can have glasses that are like yours, rimmed glasses. Maybe I'll make it look like me. I'll put, I love mm. the wings. That's such a cool technique for the wings. Love it. Let me think. If there's any more patterns, I do. Do you do anything on the legs to kind of add? Do you do like little, yeah, all these things to kind of do like where the muscles kind of knit? Are they like furry or no? They don't have fur. No, they they're, they're scales. They've got oh, scales. Know, but some it's, dragons have fur. Yes, but winter not, dragons. Not, not these ones. Not winter. Ice wings do not have really. No. So how do they keep warm? How do they keep warm? They yeah. uh, they're they they're born in the ice kingdom. So they're they're, uh, they're good. So at, are they like beluga got, whales? They have blubber. They no. They have adapted. So they're just bodies can take extreme oh, cold. I gotcha. And also on ice wings, not on these guys, but if you're drawing an ice wing, they have really big claws, sort uh, really big claws to grip the ice. A hive, like yeah, as hive. in a bee, right? Like hive. Hive wing, okay. And this is it. And then what I'll do is, for the coloring, we'll put it on s fast speed. Yeah, wing. And then you may color it however you want, but you're going to do it the actual 
Yeah. Um, I'm going to do it the actual way. You can color whatever ever way you want. Do you know what the name of the author is for these books? I don't know. Uh, T.T. Sutherland. Okay, cool. So these are really good books. You're really enjoying them? I'm enjoying them pretty much. We're done our hive wings. Um, as you can see, hold on. There is various color combinations you can use. You can just Google. Some of them are wings. some of them are all black. Some of them are yellow. Uh, this, this is cool. Ooh, that yeah. one's pretty muscular. Yeah. So there's all sorts there, of options. There's tons of different ones. Cool. If you want, you there's can the do glass. Background. There's glasses on one of them. Oh, they're like goggles, kind of. All right. And glasses. That's Cricket, actually. She's one of the main characters of the Hive Wings. Excellent. So is there any finishing details we need to do or say? So you you, um, you outlined yours. That just kind of adds yeah. I outlined, a nice I think so. What you probably want to do is use a Sharpie or a fine tip pen that does not bleed. So here's mine. I think I did a pretty good job from your... Yeah. And yours, I drew one uh, of the darker is, ones. That's what some of them look like, though. That's yeah, like for sure. usually some of the the soldier ones. They mm -hmm. have darker scales, and they have uh, like right. some kind of right. paralyzing toxin in their clothes. Oh. Sometimes they have like, well, they are retractable like spikes out of their wrists. Mm -hmm. Usually, the ones that are soldiers have that, just in case. Excellent. So, what would you say? So, next time, will we do another type of these dragons? Or sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, so 13, there you go. There's, there's 13 different tri No, there's, there's 10 there's different. There's hive wings. There's hive wings, silk wings, and leaf wings on one uh, continent, mm -hmm. Pantala. And then on Pyria, there's ice wings, sand wings, sea wings, sky wings, uh, mud wings, and night wings. Excellent. So, se so seven and three. So check out those Wings of Fire books. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And I hope your dragon turned out pretty cool. If you want, you can send us your dragon picture to put in our virtual kids Actually, in the Silk Biz Wings. gallery. Silk Wings. Silk Wings? Okay. Because they can be any color. So sure. that would be nice for them because they All can right. draw any single color. Excellent. It, only except black because Silk Wings never have black on them. I got you. Which is you the, want to have your dragon picture put in our virtual gallery on my website, just email us at um, Lavender Kids with a Z in the biz with a Z at gmail.com. And we will just put your first name, your age, what kind of medium you use, whether it was pencil crayons, markers, whatever, and um, title your work pastels, and then pastel, whatever you want. Crayons. And just don't, we don't need your last name. We won't put that on. And, um, and we will post it on our virtual gallery, kids yeah. gallery. So uh, yeah, so ch check out www.kristenlavenderart.com for more information uh, and we're going to have all sorts of cool coloring pages, more demos, contests, some prizes at some point. All right, have fun drawing. Mm -hmm. Bye.